Hi, curl friends, naturally Rhonda here. To all my old time subbies, I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch my videos. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, stay a while, check out some of my other content. So this video is another video for my Natural Hair 101 series. Natural Hair 101 is basically just how I do different things with my natural hair and other general information about natural hair. So in this video, I am showing you how I protect or um, sleep with, how I make my mini twists last. And this isn't just for mini twists, this is for mini twists, for braids, for the regular size twists, jumbo twists, whatever. Whenever my hair is in a protective style like this, this is the way that I sleep with my hair. If you would like to see my tutorial on these twists and the product that I used, I will leave that down below in the description box as well as up above in the cards. Let's get into how I make my twists last. The first thing that I use when I'm about to go to sleep is this kind of like bootleg do-rag thing. I don't really know what to call it. And I feel really, really bad because I don't remember exactly where I got it from. I wanna say it's a beauty supply store, but I feel bad because I don't, like I hate when I'm watching another YouTube video and they're telling me about a product, but they don't know where they got it from. So it's not like I can go buy that product. Why are you telling me about it? But in my defense, a regular do-rag would do the same thing as this. As you can see, it looks just like a regular do-rag. It just doesn't have that extra little tail thing there. So if you can't find this type of scarf at your local beauty supply store, then a regular do-rag would do the trick. So all I do is I just put this on my head like this and just tie it in the back. And this, I do this because it kind of helps my hair to lay down because I don't know about y'all, but whenever I have twists, this part of my hair after a few days, after some time, it starts to puff up. I just tie this down, secure it in the back. And I only do this when I'm still trying to prolong the style because once it gets to the point where I'm like, all right, it's old, I'm about to wash my hair or I'm about to untwist it and just have it out as a twist out. I don't even do this step. I just go in with my second step, which is my bonnet. It's very easy. All I do with the bonnet, put it on the top and then tuck the twist inside. And then this is how I go to sleep. Like I said, this is only when I'm really trying to still prolong the style. Other than that, I'll either just put on the bonnet or when I'm really like over the style and about to wash my hair, I'll just sleep with no bonnet on at all. No bonnet, no bootleg do-rag, nothing. Cause I have satin pillowcases. So my hair is still protected, but it's just, I'm not worried about how neat it is. But this is what I will do for sure the first couple of days of having my twists in. Now to maintain the twists, like after I take this out, if, I feel like the twists are looking a little dry. I'll just take a little oil and it really is whatever oil I just reach for. It's not any one particular oil or I will take a water-based leave-in, but not too much of it because I don't want my twists to really get wet again, but just to give it a little moisture. That's about it for this brief Natural Hair 101 video. This is the time where I like to point your attention to some of my other content, like my how I wet plop my hair and how I work out with my natural hair. I love you for watching. Y'all please be safe out there and I'll see you in the next one.